Inter-service rivalry inside the Japanese military meant that during World War II, the Japanese army and the Japanese navy barely coordinated with each other. The long-term discord between the Imperial Japanese Army and the Imperial Japanese Navy is one of the most notorious examples of inter-service rivalry. The situation stretches back to at least the 1890s, and it comes with major military and geopolitical consequences. In the early 1930s, the rivalry expressed itself by each branch endorsing a different military plan for Japanese expansion. Both factions were putting forward plans for conquest that would allow Japan to secure the natural resources that it needed, mostly petroleum. The army endorsed a plan called Strike North, which would have them taking Siberia by way of Manchuria, and would, of course, utilize mostly the Japanese army. The navy supported a plan called Strike South, which involved taking the Dutch East Indies, a plan which would, of course, utilize mostly the Japanese navy. There was a third party that favored peace, but officers in all three factions regularly had members of the opposing factions assassinated, causing this to become known as the era of a government by assassination. At least four current and former prime ministers were murdered during this time. Eventually, the Japanese army staged a false flag attack that allowed them to occupy Manchuria, but after being soundly defeated by the Soviets in 1939, it became apparent that Siberia was beyond their reach. With the army being soundly embarrassed, the navy faction was given more and more authority, also receiving the backing of large Japanese corporations. This rivalry meant that the army had to supply its own air power, amphibious troops, ships, submarines, and anti-submarine countermeasures, and the navy was forced to train their own infantry, marines, and paratroopers. If a navy airplane made an emergency landing at an army airfield, it would not be repaired or refueled. If the army received intelligence that the navy needed to know, they wouldn't tell them. Neither side wanted to take responsibility for stopping the bombing of the Japanese mainland. The army said the aircraft were coming from the sea, so it was the navy's responsibility. The navy said they were bombing targets on land, so it was the army's responsibility. That meant army and navy pilots could never coordinate with each other to defend the homeland. I've had a really hard time nailing the numbers down, but according to this source, only 74 American bombers were lost to fighters over Japan, while German fighters were accounting for thousands. During Guadalcanal, there were army troops that needed to be supplied by the Navy. The Navy provided as little as they possibly could, meaning the Japanese ships coming in were piled with supplies so high they couldn't defend themselves. They ended up dumping the army supplies into the ocean so they could shoot back when they were being attacked. Anytime the Navy resupplied the army during the Guadalcanal campaign, three quarters of the supplies would be lost. The Navy supply ships were taking a beating, so they withdrew completely from the island without ever telling the army that they'd left, with some 25,000 soldiers starving to death before orders on high forced them to be evacuated. In return, as the Navy suffered the vast majority of aircraft losses, the army refused to share any of their modern fighters. When army forces on the island of Okinawa were threatened from the sea, they demanded that the Yamato be deployed to defend the island, despite the fact that the navy knew they had to keep her in port now that they'd lost air superiority. The army insisted anyway, and the pride of the Japanese navy was immediately sunk. Most notably, the navy didn't inform the army about their crippling defeat at Midway for weeks, leaving the army completely unaware that the tipping point of the war in the Pacific had already passed. I think the most surprising thing that I've learned about World War II since my school days is how little the Emperor was involved.